the aim of this experiment or the purpose of this experiment is to synthesize the common pain killer aspirin or pain reliever we can say pain killer or pain reliever aspirin via esterification reaction between salicylic acid and acetic anhydride salicylic acid and acetic anhydride these are the reactants in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid acting as a catalyst but uh, in our experiment uh, i forgot to remove this concentrated sulfuric acid instead of const concentrated sulfuric acid we have used uh, phosphoric acid okay don't be confused we can use concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid as well okay as a catalyst now the background aspirin is one of the best known and most widely used medicines in modern society most widely used medicine aspirin has a long past in the 5th century bc hippocrates first used it as a bitter powder obtained from ground willow bark to ease aches and pains and to reduce fever so first it was used in i mean by hippocrates in 5th century bc okay american indians the aboriginals of america american who are american indians not indians not us american indians are the aboriginal indian uh, americans the original people of america american indians chewed on willow bark to obtain these same results means to get relief from the pain in 1829 the pharmacist lerox showed that the substance in the willow bark that made people feel better is salicin the compound was salicin the pharmacological ancestor of a family of drugs called salicylates it belonged to this family salicylates okay then salicin can be converted by the body after it is eaten to another chemical salicylic acid okay now let's come to the experiment in this experiment aspirin will be synthesized using a reaction very similar to the way it is manufactured industrially the way it is manufactured or synthesized in industries in pharmaceutical industries the same procedures or same way we will synthesize this medicine in our lab understood am i audible to you yes sir yes sir audible okay now salicylic acid acting as an alcohol is reacted with acetic anhydride you can see here this is salicylic acid and this is acetic anhydride salicylic acid you can see the molecular formula is c7h6o3 and this is the molecular structure okay the molecular weight 138 gram per mole it reacts with acetic anhydride in presence of phosphoric acid or con concentrated sulfuric acid it forms acetyl salicylic acid this this is the medicine aspirin which is it is known as aspirin and by product acetic acid okay so acetic salicylic acid acting as an alcohol is reacted with acetic anhydride acting as the acid in an esterification reaction to produce an ester this is you can see here c o oh, this c double bond o o c s3 ester okay to produce an ester acetyl salicylic acid which is known as aspirin concentrated sulfuric acid or uh, this phosphoric acid can be used as a catalyst so in our in our lab we have used phosphoric acid instead of 
concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay. Now I will uh, use one white board to show you the reaction and the mechanism also. Reaction mechanism. This is the reaction mechanism. So let me use the white board to show you the reaction and the mechanism. Okay. So reaction and the mechanism board. We will discuss. Is it visible? Hello? Yes, sir. Not visible, sir. Black screen. Now it is visible. Is it visible now? Yes. Okay. From here we will discuss. Just uh, before starting the class, I had drawn these structures. Mute yourself. Someone is speaking. Mute yourself. In case if you're not able to understand, then you can call. Mute yourself. Making noise. Roll number 435. Mute all of you, mute yourself. Okay. Okay. So, can you see this reaction? The students, can you see this reaction? Yes, yes. Okay. yes sir. So this is this 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 compound. This is our salicylic acid. This is our salicylic acid. This one. This is our salicylic acid. Okay. I can write here salicylic acid. Okay. Let let me write here salicylic acid. Just wait. Salicylic acid. Okay. Now is it visible? Yes, so. Salicylic acid. And this is acetic anhydride. Let me write its name acetic anhydride. Acetic anhydride. Acetic anhydride. Okay. This one. Sweet. So this is our acetic anhydride and this is salicylic acid. They react in presence of phosphoric acid or concentrated H2SO4. Phosphoric acid or concentrated H2SO4 to form acetyl salicylic acid. This is acetyl salicylic acid. This one or we can say aspirin this is aspirin you can write you can you can write this reaction i'll wait you can write this reaction first this is synthesis then this the lower one is the mechanism 
first you write the synthesis part then we will discuss the mechanism <coughs> you can write first the synthesis then we will discuss the mechanism okay you write this reaction salicylic, salicylic acid reacts with acetic anhydride to form acetyl salicylic acid aspirin and this one is acetic acetic acid Are you writing? Hello? Yes. Yes, sir, writing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is acetic acid. Okay. And this is aspirin. Write this reaction fast, then we'll move. This is aspirin, this is acetic acetic acid. This is acetic acid. mechanism also we need to write ha huh, mechanism also you have to write but first you you write this reaction then we will discuss then you write mechanism first i will discuss okay sir. this i will explain this mechanism then you will write okay okay, okay sir. so have you written this reaction this me yes, indicates ch3 don't it's write me it is actually ch3 ch3 like this ch3 okay this is also ch3 ch3 okay let me write just wait this is c h3 okay this is also ch3 CS3, C double bond O, single bond O. Then again, it is this oxygen is connected to this carbon and double bond O, and then this single carbon CH3. Okay, so this is our acetic anhydride. Should we move to mechanism? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So let's discuss the mechanism. Okay, so hope uh, that this there is a reaction is visible to you. The mechanism is visible to you. Now we know that this this is uh, this is acetic anhydride because the medium is acidic because we have used phosphoric acid or what we have used phosphoric acid or concentrated H2SO4. Concentrated H2SO4. So suppose H2SO4 is there. H2SO4. It is a diprotic, diprotic acid, isn't it? So it will furnish hydrogen ions to make the solution acidic, isn't it? This hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions will be furnished by this concentrated H2SO4 to make the solution acidic. Okay. Did you understand? So the solution contains hydrogen ions because it is acidic. The medium is acidic. Okay. Now what, what happens? This we have on a lone pair, two lone pairs on this oxygen and two lone pairs on this oxygen. 
so this these two or this oxygen it abstracts one hydrogen ion from the solution it abstracts one hydrogen ion from the solution you can see here the arrow it is known as abstraction abstraction okay this oxygen or this oxygen donates its one lone pair of electron to abstract one hydrogen ion from the solution understood did you understand hello yes sir did you understand this oxygen it donates it or it uses its one of the lone pair of electrons to abstract to hydrogen. one hydrogen ion from the solution okay now you can see here in the second step this is first step this is second step okay so it has bonded to the hydrogen now since it has donated two lone pair of electron lone pair of electron it will acquire positive charge it will acquire positive charge isn't it oxygen will acquire positive charge after losing electrons isn't it yes sir now to compensate this charge to compensate this charge or to make the charge neutral this bond will break this bond one bond will break and it will go to this it will be donated to this high oxygen to make it to make it neutral to make it neutral okay this bond will break and it will go to the oxygen to make it neutral okay now you can see in the next step here since this carbon has given carbon has given its bond so the carbon will acquire positive charge isn't it now oxygen has two yes, lone sir. pair of electrons again and it is bonded to hydrogen but now carbon has become a positive center the carbon has become a positive center isn't it because the bond has broken this bond so it is positive now because of this because the carbon has become the positive center now comes this our salicylic acid from the in the salicylic acid this oh group the alcoholic group the oxygen bearing this electron pairs or lone pairs this lone pair it will attack this positive center and it will form a bond it will attack the positive center or it will attack the carbon to form a bond you can see here in the next step this is our oxygen it has donated and it has uh, the this lone pair and it has bonded to this carbon can you see this carbon this carbon this this carbon it has bonded to this carbon can you see this is oxygen now this hydrogen is there and since it has donated electron so it will become positive center isn't it again it will become positive center the oxygen positive charge will be there isn't it i want response from you okay yes, it will sir. become positive this oxygen so to be become neutral what will happen this bond will be broken and it will go to this oxygen this bond will break and go to this oxygen the electrons will go to this oxygen to make it neutral again now this carbon this 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 ox, uh, carboxyl group this oxygen bearing two lone pair of electrons so this one lone pair of electrons you it will this oxygen will use its one lone pair of electron to abstract one hydrogen this hydrogen which is present on the other oxygen this hydrogen okay this hydrogen this oxygen will abstract this hydrogen okay this oxygen will abstract this hydrogen so this bond will be broken again this bond will come back to this carbon oxygen this bond will be broken and come back to this carbon oxygen okay now because 
it will become axis so this bond will be broken it will come back to this carbon oxygen this carbon oxygen so it this you can see here clearly this molecule will be released in the solution and it will form acetic acid it will form acetic acid it will form acetic acid did you understand you can see here in the yes, next sir. step we can see here in this step see oxygen the uh, hydrogen is broken it will be released in the solution oxygen is bonded to this carbon and this carbon is bond double bond doubly bonded to this oxygen and this ch3 okay and this molecule will be released in the solution this molecule will be released in the solution understood just wait one molecule i have not drawn just wait let me draw this molecule here here one molecule is there this one it is this oxygen attacked here i have not drawn this one so let me draw here this okay now it is complete now can did you understand this this oxygen this oxygen bonded to this carbon this carbon this carbon is bonded to this double two oxygen this and this is this carbon is bonded to this ch3 it will form acetyl salicylic acid it will form acetyl salicylic acid plus so just let me write plus acetic acid ch3 this ch3 ch3 c double bond o oh let me show you c this c double bond c this c double bond o this one this c double bond o and this c oh c o and this one this h this one this h okay so this will make coh did you understand this is the mechanism acetyl salicylic acid did you understand the mechanism yes sir now you can write let me show you so that you can write mechanism now is it visible let me enlarge now you can write write this reaction mechanism and let me know that you have completed so we'll move to other other slide write this mechanism write this mechanism fast are you writing yes sir writing sir yes sir okay write it fast
Yes, sir. Completed, sir. Let others. No, sir. Wait, sir. Last one. Yes, sir. Completed. Completed. Have you completed all of you? Raise your yes, hand. Yes, sir. How many of you have completed? Raise your hand, all of you. All of you, raise your hand. Or the student who has not written, raise hand. The students who have not written. The students who have not written, raise your hands. Those who have not written, 447. 56. Okay. Now, should I move to other slide? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me ask again. Raise your hand who has not written. Raise your hand who has not written. Have all of you completed? I'll move to other slide. Yeah, sir, completed. Sir. So I'll move to other slide. OK. So I'm stopping it from sharing. I'll use another slide, OK? OK, sir. OK. I'll use another slide now. Wait. Okay, so we have discussed the synthesis and the mechanism. Okay, this is the same mechanism. Can you see? Now come to the next step. This also you have to, if you want to write, I'll let you write, or otherwise we'll discuss only. The materials required distilled water, acetic anhydride, salicylic acid. Uh, do not write concentrated sulfuric acid, write phosphoric acid, right? Phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid. Write this, materials and equipment. Phosphoric acid. 
फॉस्फोरिक एसिड हेलो आर यू राइटिंग राइटिंग सर राइट इट फास्ट मेटीरियल्स एंड इक्विपमेंट्स इक्विपमेंट्स रिंग स्टैंड और ब्यूरेट स्टैंड क्लैम्प्स ड्रॉपर स्पैचुला ग्लास स्टरिंग रोड ग्लास स्टरिंग रॉड बीकर्स ऑर्लन मेयर फ्लास्क वॉच ग्लास बकनर फनल फिल्टर पेपर सो दीज आर द इक्विपमेंट्स और द ग्लास वेयर्स वी रिक्वायर glass stirring rod spatula dropper clamp burette stand or ring stand actually this ring stand is also not required we require one uh, water bath instead of this you can write water bath okay water bath water bath b a t h water bath have you written now i move to next slide yes sir now write this procedure procedure you write weigh approximately 2 g of salicylic acid and transfer it into a 250 ml erlen meyer flask or volumetric flask conical flask you can write weigh approximately 2 g of salicylic acid and transfer it into a 250 ml or 500 ml any any amount we can use the bigger one also we can use 250 ml conical flask erlen this is also i mean the actual name is erlen meyer flask but we call it conical flask okay then afterwards add approximately 5 ml acetic anhydride to this erlen meyer flask containing the salicylic acid and we have to swirl it we have to swirl it shake swirl swirl mean shake okay swirl it now afterwards carefully add four drops of concentrated phosphoric acid catalyst to the reaction mixture and swirl the mixture gently swirl the mixture gently carefully add four drops of concentrated phosphoric or we can write carefully add four drops of phosphoric acid catalyst to the reaction mixture and swirl the mixture gently heat the flask on the hot water bath for 10 minutes heat the flask on the hot water bath for 10 minutes stirring with a glass stirring rod or metal spatula until the salicylic acid dissolves completely heat the flask in the hot water bath for 10 minutes stirring with a glass stirring rod or metal spatula until the salicylic acid dissolves completely should i move to next slide next slide 
One minute. Okay, sir. No. Okay. Now. Prepare an ice water bath in a 400 ml beaker, about 50 milliliter tap water, 50 milliliter, 50 gram ice. You need not write this. You can write prepare an ice bath, ice water bath in a beaker. In a beaker. You need not write this also, 400 ml. Only you write prepare an ice water bath in a beaker. Prepare an ice water bath in a beaker. Okay. Now the next step. Remove the flask from the hot water bath and allow the reaction mixture to cool in the ice water bath until no more precipitation occurs until no more precipitation occurs. Remove the flask from the hot water bath and allow the reaction mixture to cool in the ice water bath until no more precipitation occurs. OK, don't write this. You just for noting. Don't write this step. OK. Afterward, after this, the second step, you write this, this one, the last one. After the precipitation is complete, add 20 ml of cold distilled water to the reaction flask in 5 ml increments. Wash off stirring rod, swirl to mix, and again cool the mixture in the ice water bath. And again, cool the mixture in the ice bath. Once you have written, you let me know, then I'll. I'll move the slide. I'll move the slide, OK? Have you written? Wait, no, sir. Have you written? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. So we'll move to the next slide. Place a paper filter in the Buckner funnel. Transfer the reaction mixture to the Buckner funnel. Rinse the product in the funnel with a small increment of cold distilled water. Transfer the crystals to a paper towel for drying. Pat dry the crystals with a new piece of filter paper. Transfer the dried crystals to a pre-weighed watch glass.
have you written no sir place a paper filter in the buckner funnel transfer the reaction mixture to the buckner funnel rinse the product in the funnel with small increments of cold distilled water transfer the crystals to a paper towel for drying pat dry the crystals with a new piece of filter paper transfer the dried crystals to a pre-weighed watch glass pre-weighed watch glass. written yes sir So I'll give you one more minute. You write this, then we'll move to the demonstration. Okay, the video. Okay, meanwhile. Have you written? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, what happened? Have you written? Is it complete? We move to the next, we'll navigate for, forward. Now you write this yield percent, percent yield determination. Percent yield determination. Directly you write this formula. Percent yield determination. Completed, sir. Okay. Raise your hands who has not written. Raise your hands who has not written. We will move to the video now. All of you have written? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's move to yes, sir. demonstration. Okay. See the video carefully and learn the steps. Okay, the same you have to do in lab.
is the screen visible to you this video screen yes sir yes sir. yes sir Good morning, dear students. I am Dr. Sinhas Patel. Is it audible? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Professor of Chemistry in Saint Peter's Engineering College. So today we are going to discuss about the experiment number two, that is synthesis of aspirin and acetone. Okay, what is the objective? So the objective we want to synthesize. some common pain killers some common pain killers like aspirin and paracetamol the paracetamol and aspirin we are uh, daily we are using um, daily we are using as a close tablet paracetamol tablet for for what for reducing fever so in the most of the companies are preparing in hyderabad as well as uh, various countries uh, so very less price why it's a simple preparation it's a very very simple preparation so we can prepare just within half an hour time we can prepare this compound very good compound okay now today i'm going to demonstrate the aspirin so we have to practice the test so similar reaction both are very similar okay so first of all so just we have to Look the what the reaction. So see on the blackboard here the aspirin. So what is the principle? The aspirin is containing the. This is the aspirin compound here. So both groups are present. One is the acid group, another one is the ester group. The aspirin containing the acid as well as the ester group, both group. So it is used extensively in medicine. Main in pharmaceutical company. So for for pain killers, antipathetic. Okay. So that is the principle. So now reaction. So what is the reaction? Salicylic acid is a basic material. Salicylic acid. So we want benzene group containing the hydroxy OH group or acid group. So we we can say ortho hydroxy benzoic acid. Ortho hydroxy Benzoic acid when combined form a reactive with acetic acid. Right. So this acetic acid then is left with the OH group, OH group to form the ester, to form the ester. So here as it is by same rule. So now what is in presence of acid? In presence of acid when salicylic acid reacts with acetic acid. In presence of acid, either phosphoric acid or sulfuric acid, so to form the aspirin compound, plus acetic acid. Mm -hmm. So this is the aspirin reaction. In the same way, so we have to prepare paracetamol. So paracetamol also, the fever reducing agent, it is also used for what? For fever. So this is all the uh, this is a para amino phenol. This is para amino para position. Uh, this is para amino phenol benzene group connected. Both one hydroxy group and one amine group. Then react with the acetic acid. The acetic acid react with the here amine group, not OH group, because the acid always react with the less acidic property. Here, if you continue the acid, this the more strong group is the less strong group. That is the reason here acetic acid react with the OH group, but where the reason OH group is there, but here react. The amine group. That is the difference between the uh, salicylic acid and amine group. So here the amine group is the acetic acid to form the paracetamol. So what we hear that is amine group content. Amine group. Where is the acid content? Acid as well as the ester group. So they, this is what difference between the aspirin and the paracetamol. Okay. This is the theory and the reaction. So we will discuss the demonstrate. I will prepare the uh, 
compound now. So first of all, we we have to look. Okay. Now procedure for the preparation of uh, compound. So how can you prepare? So what are the chemicals are present? What are the apparatus? And what is the procedure? So now let's look the what are the apparatus. So apparatus we have to take the conical flask. Conical flask. This is the conical flask for taking the compound. Taking the compound and measuring jar. We have to measure the. This is the measuring jar. This is the measuring jar and one funnel also required. Funnel. This is the funnel for filtration and one dropper. We are taking. This is called the dropper. Taking the acid group. I want spatula for using the taking the compound and one glass rod also useful and also so for this is the butter paper and this is the filter paper so we have to keep at our place and now these are the apparatus now what are the chemicals so main chemical is salicylic acid just uh, i told you know uh, salicylic acid that is uh, Uh, ardo hydroxy benzoic acid ardo hydroxy benzoic acid ardo hydroxy this is the salicylic acid and this is the acetic anhydride acetic anhydride and this is acid phosphoric acid phosphoric acid and this is the deionized water deionized water so now let's look the procedure so how can you uh, 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 how, how can you prepare the uh, compound okay Okay, now we have to weigh out two grams of sulfuric acid, salicylic acid. We have to weigh out two grams exactly, two grams of compound. Not weigh carefully. Two grams of sulfuric acid on butter paper. Okay, then we have to close the bottle and take carefully from the balance. And close the balance. Now this two grams of compound is placed in a conical flask, fresh washed conical flask. Okay. So now to it add five ml of acetic anhydride. Five ml of is to can hydrated five ml exactly this is the five ml measuring jar you have to take carefully we have to this is an acid Exactly, acid. We take acetic acid. So simple. Please swirl in or shake little, little. So complete dissolution takes place. And close this one because the acid as decomposes, acetic acid decomposes immediately to form what acetic acid. So that is the reason we have to close it. And now we have to just uh, the lumps are there. We have to uh, break out the lumps and complete dissolution and complete not dissolution, but it become complete wet. So just we have to do like this. It's a very simple process. We can prepare 
So that is the reason almost all pharmaceutical industries are prepared for some tons of compounds. Oh, 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 it's a very cheap material. So 10 rupees for one time. One rupee for one time. Okay, we can prepare in house also. So this is the complete resolution. <coughs> Just wet condition. So now, five drops of sulfuric acid we have it. Five drops. You take a dro dropper and five to ten drops, no problem. Okay, it is also we have to close we can acid, so the dangerous chemicals. So just shake it, just shake it. So this is a concentrated phosphoric acid or we can use in place of phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid also. So the mixture now simply, so the mixture now we can uh, gently heat the flask on boiling water bath. So now we, we want to place on the boiling bath, okay, for 10 minutes. So this is water bath. So before going to do the experiment, you have to on and it should be 100 degrees centigrade. So now the 100 degrees centigrade, so it is very hot condition. So hot water. So this is the hot water. Now keep for the 10 minutes, you have to place uh, the mixture of compound. What is there in this? Salicylic uh, uh, acid, uh, acetylated as well as phosphoric, five drops of phosphoric acid are there. You keep uh, for 10 minutes on water bath. So in between, some between we have to shake sometimes like this and keep every one or two minutes. Okay, for 10 minutes. So now 10 minutes uh, completed. So remove and switch off the heater. So add 10 ml of deionized water to it. Okay, 10 ml of deionized water. Slowly add to the compound deionized water to the mixture. compound formation takes place this is the compound formation takes place if compound is not formed what we have to do so simply simply we have to chill this compound mean you have to keep in ice bath you take in ice in the big beaker and place it in that if compound is not formed. So now compound formation is very good. The compound formation is very good. So now uh, simply we have to filter it. Filter. So take the filter paper. This is the filter paper and uh, fold it. Fold it. Fold it like this, then you have to filter like this. So why, now one question, why we are adding the deionized water, deionized Because excess of acetic anhydride present in this one, unreacted acetic anhydride, unreacted 
acetic anhydride decomposed into acetic acid unreacted acetic anhydride decomposed by the water there is water so decomposes into acetic acid the acetic acid dissolved in water the compound is filtered and washed with diazon water excess of acetic acid or acetic anhydride whatever may be completely filtered Now this filtrate containing the water as well as acetic acid because acetic acid is decomposed. Now our compound aspirin compound is on the top. So now we have to take this compound and keep in in oval. Okay. So for half an hour for drying. So please, this is the aspirin crude compound with some water is there. The water. some water is there we have to keep in oval this is the oval so we have to keep for half an hour like this so close it for half an hour so after half an hour open it and take the compound on butter paper this is the crude compound now so somewhat dry little bit more also there one hour we have to keep like that so this is the aspirin crude aspirin then after some you have to rake slice and calculate the yield so now crude will yield will come so more than 2 grams more than 2 grams why so 2 grams of salicylic acid we are used and acetic anhydride one group ch3co group added so more than 2 gram compound compound will come okay so this is the aspirin so you have to prepare similar procedure similar way of uh, doing practical that is preparation of paracetamol so you have to take instead of salicylic acid amino phenol you have to take okay thank you very much hello hello yes sir yes sir okay let's come back to our last slide which we had discussed Purit Copper Aro. It enriches water with the goodness of copper because copper keeps your immunity charged. Purit Copper Aro. Nowadays, to keep your health charged with exercise, you need to charge your immunity too. That's why I drink copper enriched water. Purit Copper Aro. It's copper charged. Great. Right. So, hope you have understood the demonstration, the procedure, everything. Now come back to our last slide. Yield percentage. Yield percentage. We have to calculate. Yield. 
yield percentage. yield percentage is it visible the screen yes sir okay i'll take your attendance around 350 or 345 OK, so this is our. Equation. Percentage yield determination yield percentage is. Or percentage percentage yield is equal to. Actual yield. Actual yield. Divided by theoretical yield. And 200. This is our. This is how we have to. Uh, Calculate the percentage yield. OK, remember this equation. So we'll calculate. OK. Just wait and use whiteboard. Is it visible the whiteboard? Whiteboard is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait. Salicylic acid. Acetic and hydride. Acetic and hydride. It forms. It forms. Aspirin. OK. Aspirin. Now. The molecular weight of salicylic acid is 138. As we had discussed. 138 gram per mole. Remember this. 138 gram per mole. And this is 180 gram. Aspirin, molecular weight of aspirin is 180 gram per mole. So what does it mean? That if 138 gram of salicylic acid reacts, it should form 180 gram of aspirin. 138 gram of salicylic acid 138 gram of salicylic acid should be able to produce 180 gram of 180 gram of aspirin understood did you understand Give your response. 
138 gram of salicylic acid should be able to produce 180 gram of aspirin. Understood? Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take out ratio. One eighty gram of aspirin is produced out of one thirty eight gram of one thirty eight gram of salicylic acid. Okay, but we have taken how much? Two gram. So taken two gram of salicylic acid. We have taken two gram of salicylic acid. Now do the calculation and let me know what is the value. Do the calculation. Do the calculation. Let me know. Two point six zero eight, sir. Six one. Zero eight. Zero eight means one rounded figure. Okay. So actually we should get this much amount of aspirin since we have taken 2 gram of salicylic acid. Okay, so this is our theoretical yield. Remember this is our theoretical yield. This is our theoretical yield. This is our theoretical yield. But actually how much we have? How much we have? Actually, uh, Batani sir was not clear how much. I mean, what was the yield per yield? Actual yield. The actual synthesis. Okay, let's take arbitrary value. Suppose the actual yield is. Suppose actual yield. Is about one point two gram. Okay. Now, what will be the yield percentage? Percentage yield will be calculate the percentage yield. Percentage yield will be one point two divided by. 2.61 into 100 into 100 okay into 100 what is the value 1.2 divided by 2.61. 1.2 divided by 2.61 into 100. Approximately 46%. Isn't it? Approximately yes. 46%. This is, uh, ex we have not taken this exact amount. Arbitrary amount we have taken. 
it can be any amount because their assert did not weigh actually actual amount in the end so we have taken this amount okay did you understand how we have to calculate yield percentage yes, hello sir. Do you understand? One now I have a uh, fifteen minutes. I will ask one by one, all of you. I'll ask you one by one. Have you understood or not? Did you understand the procedure? Did you understand the procedure roll number 40? Roll number 40, 440. Did you understand? I'll mark you absent. Randomly I will call any number. If if the student is not responding, I will mark him absent. I'll mark him or her absent. Randomly, I will call. Roll number one. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Roll number four. Did you understand? Roll number four. Roll number four. Four hundred four. It's not there. Roll number seven, four hundred seven. Yes, sir. What did you understand? Problem, sir. Big problem. Can you explain? Which? What did I? What did I explain? Tell me. Sir, uh, I'm not understood completely, sir. So why you, I I mean have you gone I mean are you dumb Did I not ask you to tell me if you are not able to understand No sir sorry sir I'll mark you absent You are not responding in between How would I come to know that you are not able to understand Roll number ten, four hundred ten. Yes, sir. Did you understand? Yes, sir. What did you understand? Tell me. Tell me what did you understand? Four hundred ten. What did we discuss today? Tell me. What have we discussed today? Tell me fast. We don't have time. Four hundred ten. I'm I'm talking to you. Four hundred eleven. Four hundred eleven. No one is respond responding. No one is giving any response. Okay, roll number four hundred twenty-one to four hundred forty. They will remain in the room. Rest will leave. Okay. The experiment is over, and we have done this calculation also. If you have any doubt, you can call me. You can send messages. 
or you can uh, send message to Pradeep sir or even to me also. In our WhatsApp group, you can send message that you have not understood. We'll discuss it again. There is no problem. Now uh, rest will leave except roll number 2421 to 440. These 20 students will still be there in the room. Rest can leave. Rest can leave. Roll number 421 to 440, they will remain there. 